Hey guys, and welcome back to Outlast. In the last episode, we dropped our camera in a rather unsuccessful uh, escape, I should say, from the Bulls Brothers. So, let's continue. Um, we're kind of screwed now. We really need some light. But I guess we're shit out of luck on that. Alright, well, I guess the only thing we can do is make steady progress back towards the camera. I can't remember now if we're alone or whether those swingers are going to be after us. You know, those guys would be really easy to um, sort out, really. A swift kick in the bollocks would bring down any man. Those two shouldn't be any different, if you think about it. Okay, well, if I was a video camera, where would I be? Ooh. Well, it's probably not going to be in the toilet. I mean, we don't know this for a fact, but it's probably not going to be. Oh, actually, was there a note that we didn't get? No, we got them all. Okay. In that case, going down. Uh, and down again. You know, it's kind of strange how losing your camera really does affect you. Ooh, there's a nice amount of comfort that that thing brings. Uh-oh. Never mind. Never mind. We shall soon have our beauty back. I hope. My god, it's dark. Oh, hello. Right. Well. The insane man didn't want to... Oh god, look at this. The insane man wasn't too bothered. But guys, it, you know what, right? You guys can all be out of here. All you have to do is pull your strength together, get about four of you. I'm pretty, pretty sure between the lot of you, you could tear one of those uh, borders off. Surely. I mean, of course, they're strong, but they're not going to be that strong. And I cannot see anything. I'm kind of get that that's the point. It's alright, Miles. It's alright, buddy. It's all great. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Come to daddy. Now, what's the betting that something bad is going to happen as soon as we touch this thing? Oh, what are you? Oh, 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 hi guys. Well, fuck you lot. I'm out of here. Um, must run. Must run quickly. Oh god, that's not good. Oh shit. Well, our camera is smashed, which is not ideal. Uh, but what the fuck can we do about it? As long as our legs still work, happy days. Uh oh. Uh, guys, why can't we go through? Nope. Ouch. Shit. Up. 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 Can we get up? There we go. Fuck you. The lot of you. You can wallow in your own misery. Hopefully, they're not actually going to be able to follow us. That would be a little bit awkward. Um, where do we come down in here? Oh, I, you know, I had forgotten how annoying it is. That can't push that out of the way. But the camera is smashed now. Ah, yes, of course. It's really annoying. Okay. You 
you know, I'm almost happy to be back here. And I think old Miles is too. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Didn't notice that one on the way out. Right. I don't know why the music is going crazy. To the best of my knowledge, nothing's following us. Alright, let's go. Come on. Up! Yes, there we go. Success! If success is measured in failure, then we're quite the successful chap right now. Run! Yeah, there we go. So here we are, back to the administrator block. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's try not to fall to our death. Um, we of course may not have too much say. Hi right there, buddy. You're not gonna horribly murder me. Only one way. There is. Are you sure about that? Buddy, your eye is... Well, you know what? You look great, mate. You look great. How do you know you're not a patient? How do I know I'm not a patient? Um, well, because I arrived by car, and I'm free to leave whenever I have the ability. I say free to leave. I mean, that's rather subjective right about now. Um, we've had plenty of opportunities to leave. And we have chosen not to. And that music is still piping up. Uh oh. I can't tell with that music playing if that's a door being smashed down. Ah, oh, dick. It's our favourite murderer. Are you sure about that, buddy? Mate. Oh, you have no idea how much I want to put my foot up your ass. Right, let's just run past this dickhead. Oh. We literally did just run past him. And he weren't even that bothered about it. That's curious. Oh, don't mind if I do. Shit, here he comes. I'm guessing this guy can't really hear much. Because we literally bolted past the fucker. Problem is, we don't know where he's gone now. Potentially go into the toilets. Right, he's down there, which is fine. It's pitch black in here. So I'm... Can we go through here? No. No, of course we can't. That would be too easy. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Bugger. So close and yet so far, Miles. Don't... Ah, shit. Mate, it's not what you think, alright? Ah, ass. Oh. Hello. Shit, okay, well, we know where we need to go. Kind of. That was unfortunate. Yeah. <sighs> what a special leprechaun. You pleb. Now, was there anything in these rooms? Can't remember. Nothing there. Is 
There was a battery above us. But we don't really care about the battery. We just get up there, you fucking moron. Alright, okay. What's the matter, buddy? You big stupid bastard. Aha! Okay, well, we're going to miss out on a battery, but eh, it's fine. You alright there, pal? Oh. Interact with you. Out you go. Good rinse to bad rubbish, I say. Now, what is this way? And you know what's really bugging me and playing on my mind? The fact that we missed that damn battery. <sighs> I don't like our batteries to be this low. Oh. Hello. We'll have that. Oh. Alright, this is a quote safe room. Although I don't like to use the word safe because I'm not actually sure whether it actually is. Documentation. Billy's dreams. A lot about this Billy character, isn't there? Another interesting conversation with Billy. This morning, he says he's been talking to Dr. Wernernickel again for his therapy in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medicine, which isn't in the literature for benzodiaz... Benzodia Zepine. Probably butchered that. Uh, in any case, it's his dead doctor friend is filling his head with more German folklore. Apparently, the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric, vampiric butterflies vomited from a demon called um, Horkazi. Hawk, I like the sound of these butterflies. Ooh, that gives me a great tattoo idea. Vampiric butterflies. Mm. Um, the butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their ni oh those yeah uh, drink blood from their nipples. They can also take the form of em uh, emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs. So Billy's got that going for him. You'd mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Uh, are any of them by chance tattoos of butterflies? Next time I get outside the Merc Merkov firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there's any actual bias um, basis. In German folklore, or uh, if Billy's making this garbage up from the from whole cloth, I would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine. <laughs> Wink, smiley face. Gets lonely up here on two, Kurt. Hmm. Now, a glass of wine. Yes, that does sound quite lovely. I do like wine. Gotta be red, though. Or rosé. Uh, I don't mind wine. If it's all there is, I'll take it. I always find that um, a good, strong, powerful red wine can uh, knock you on your ass. It tastes so good. The only problem with the stuff is it gives me terrible hangover. Alright, so I guess we're going that way. Anything in the library? This, of course, is where we came in. The music is kicking up as well, so I'm just... Ooh! Another document. So, what does this pleasant uh, bit of literature tell us? The Spirit Breach. Translated from German. Uh, I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernickel in his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in this brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. 
If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened, but beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer cancerogenetic ra ration? Huh. I believe Werner Nichols' method has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition briefly, but undeniably so. Please forward my note and invitation to witness further experiments to the Diet Reich. Diet Rick Eckhart. For I do not doubt that further uh, that the Führer himself may need to be made aware of our discoveries. It is in my opinion that Dr. Werner Nichols' success represents an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling culling program. Oh, of course, culling program. Regards to your family. Signature is illegible. Now, any batteries or anything glinting at us doesn't look like it. Sadly so. Well, okay. So, the key to the house of God. Um, if it's all the same, you, you're welcome to keep that key. I have no interest. Well, I suppose we have no choice. Always feels like my skin's burning, you know? If I am ever in a place of worship. Well, I guess we're going down there. Oh, this is a nice telly. Morning. Good morning to you too, TV. I don't often talk to my TV. Although, actually, that's that's not true. I was talking to my TV uh, yesterday because I have a new entertainment um, center table thing. TV stand. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Um, and I hate moving my TV because it is... Um, like a 46 inch sheet of glass. Beautiful design. Um, so I get understandably nervous when moving it. So I was giving it a little bit of reassurance as I was moving it. I hate actually uh, taking my entertainment center apart full stop. I did it once before and it didn't work right when I put it back together so I had to spend a further few hours fiddling well a few hours a bit extreme a further a few minutes fiddling with cables well someone's playing a beautiful piece of music You know, I'm quite fond. I mean, yes, I'm a metalhead at heart. Yes, this is true. But I'm quite fond of a wide genre of music. I'll give anything a go. And I quite enjoy piano music. Very much so. Okay. Oh dear. Can you stop spacking out, camera? Ooh. This looks like a theatre. Kind of. Although, all the Patreons seem to be dead. Which is not great, actually. Oh, whoever was playing the piano has buggered off. Oh. Mexico. 
clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 1486. Wernicke. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. Oh. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. You're saying the experiment needed a proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do ah. you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Um. Is that it? I guess so. All right, well, let's have a look at our notes. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. <laughs> it's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with Dr. What was it? I can't remember how they actually pronounce his name now. Werner Nickel is what I'm going to call him anyway. Uh, Los Alamos means government work. Werner Nickel talks about spontaneous bleeding tumors, psychocosmatic reflections in uh, insufficiently disturbed oh, insufficiently disturbed people seeming to walk a line between science and, nas uh, and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie uh, they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song that you can't stop humming. I blink and see um, Roshash tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Hmm. I see. Well, apparently the key is behind the light. Everybody's dead, Dave. Oh, oh yeah! New series of Red Dwarf should be starting. All these phones off the hook. All right. Well, we're gonna follow the blood. Excuse me, please. Wernicke. Yeah. Well, I think Wernicke's dead, mate. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, what have we got here? More documentation. Alright, well, let's have a look. Necrotizing fascists. Uh, wash those hands regularly. September 19th, 2013 at 4.19am. Grant blah 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 wrote next sizing fascist really I fucking quit I see well, that was worth reading now you made promises of a key key that I expect to find. Uh, 
Although, it does look like... Oh no, it looks like it's over here. No, that's a battery, which is fine. We shall use it. I do like me some batteries. Oh, fucking hell. You right there, buddy? Can I... Am I, am I not allowed in? But, but, but the, the guy said something about a key. A key for me. Look, there's... You... Dick. Can we hide in here? Okay, so, how the hell do we get in that room? Ooh, I actually have no idea. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess... God damn it. Look at that. So close and yet so far. Nope, we definitely can't go back in there. Oh. Oh, well, he's jogging on. And he's opened this door for us. Thanks, buddy. You're letting us have the scenic route. Well, that's very good of you. I would have preferred a not-quite-so-dangerous route, but, uh, whatever. At least, hopefully, we can save some battery power. Hopefully, we can get back up to five batteries. I mean, really? Is, is this necessary, mate? Why did you have to make this so hard for us? More importantly, how did you get over there? Did you go the same crazy route we did? That is one hell of a projector. Spatlin. Okay, now they've opened that again. Alright, well, give me that. Find Father Martin. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go back out the way we came. Wherever the hell this... Father Martin actually is. I feel like we've been chasing him now for most of the game. He's rather elusive. Really? God damn it. Okay. That's fine. God damn it. If I can look all these damn doors. My kingdom for an open door. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Can you get over that, please? Can we not... Oh, shit. I guess we can't go back that way. Who came in here? Is it the Bulls Brothers again? It's the Bulls Brothers again. God damn it. I don't know what it is with those guys. They're obviously very proud of their buttocks. It's going to be very hard to stay hidden from these chaps. given the circumstances. Or, you know, maybe not. That is a rather shiny cleaver you have there, sir. Oh, hello. Yeah, there, pal. Don't mind me. Just, uh, moving on through. Where's the other one gone? I guess, to be fair, I don't really care where the other one's gone. Pff, 
probably up around here somewhere. Oh no, no, we should be fine. Sweet, there we go. Home sweet home, or something. Can we, no, we can't shut that from the other side. Oh well, I didn't want to shut it from the other side anyway. Um, right there guys. You're just gonna lock me out again. Look, I thought we had an understanding, chaps. Well, maybe not. Can we go this way? Nope. I guess that leaves only one. There we go. Alright. Now, if there's a battery here, that would be rather rather nice. I'm guessing, guys, that all of these areas here with um, electronic equipment like radios and stuff, these are potential battery spawn points. I'm pretty sure I read something like that. Okay, you're wearing pants, so... I don't think I should be too worried about you. Oh, Lovely. If they wear pants, they're probably on the level. I say probably. Again, it's not an exact science. Uh, he's not wearing pants. Okay, we're going to stay away from him then. Oh, hello. Up and over. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, where are we? We're above the kitchen. We're also out of time. We really need a safe spot. Uh, can we... Okay, why can we come up here then? I don't know. Maybe there's something in the other room we've got to do first. Because it looks like this is a quick escape. Can we talk to this chap? I oh, know. I'm guessing the Bulls brothers aren't going to be too far behind. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, quite a spiffy little area. Oh, hello. You keep praying, mate. It might happen. We're educated. The static again. A patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he thought that Father Martin's line... Oh, maybe he brought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear. But more clearly, maybe it's his way out of this place. The priest called it the Gospel of Sand. Yeah, I guess he did. Okay. Well, I guess we can't have a nice relaxing game of pool. Sadly. Uh, can't go up there. You're right over there, buddy. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a little bit of a prey. You keep doing that, buddy. Oh, hello. Right there, mate. You're praying as well. You guys are dedicated. Let me know how it's going for you. Exit. Of course. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Ooh. Alright now, mate. You having a good time? You know, there's more to life than bending your knees. Alright. Practical application. And free thinking. I encourage you to try it. It's pretty amazing stuff. Bloody hell. 
I'm starting to feel uncomfortable here. Not a single battery. Oh, I'll have those though. The Gospel of Judas. I am an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, uh -oh, wall rider. Let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon this world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wrath. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Uh-huh. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Otherwise, we'll be going on for hours. So, I am enjoying this game very, very much still. This game is heating up beautifully. You know, I don't know why I didn't enjoy this game before. I think it was one of the first games I, I played, one of the first horror games I played, where you couldn't fight back against enemies, and that kind of put me off a little bit. But now I've played a few more of those... I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I really am. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.